So, uh, you ready? Yeah. So, uh, my dad was a captain in the army, and I was an army brat, and we used to move from army base to army base all over the U.S. and Panama and all these places, so we never really had a home. So, uh, along the way, uh, my mom uh, finally decided to uh, live in Santa Cruz. My dad had to go to Korea and ask where she wanted to live. And the family story is that she was blindfolded and pointed to a map, and it was Santa Cruz, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we, we finally, in 51, we moved to Santa Cruz, and when I started surfing, I draw caricatures of the, the guys, the, the heroes here, you know, local legends. You know, I draw their caricature and give it to them and mm. then invite them over to the house for sandwiches. My mom would make them sandwiches, you know, so I'd get in with the, the older guys. <laughs> yeah, and so, but I, I kind of got a reputation for being a surf artist that way. And then, so when stuff came up, you know, they want a surfboard logo or something, they'd call me and I got jobs at O'Neill's and jobs making surfboards. I worked at Olson's. So from my art, you know, and surfing and just drawing, it kind of led to all that stuff and led to where I am now, you know. And so I, I never did graduate, you know, because I was just sur either surfing or drawing, you know. And my counselor said, Jim, there's only two weeks left at school. If you just sit in your desk every day, we'll give you your diploma. And next day, you know, sharks close, six foot, nobody out, you know, glassy, you know, so shine it.